Hello friends, I'm walking beside some of the brush that is on our street that has been taken out from the yards from the fallen trees and it just uh, there's something that tugs at my heart to realize all the shade that we had counted on and the beautiful tall trees that we all had loved here at Cedar Rapids are in many places no more. And yet when I look at these uh, tall piles of brush at the side of the road, I also see something else. For what I also see is neighbors coming together, neighbor with neighbor, friend with friend, family with family, sometimes just strangers uh, stopping by to lend a hand. And Cedar Rapids has been a beehive of activity these past two weeks as people have brought the brushes and the branches and the logs out to the street ready for pickup. I thought about what verse from the scriptures to choose for uh, what we see and actually what I think about is not so much a specific verse as simply the whole Christian narrative. As Lutherans we talk about uh, that God has set us free in Christ so that we might be free to give our life in loving service to our neighbor and to one another. That we have been saved so that we might spend our life in loving service. And so when I look at all of these branches what I see is a testimony uh, to energy well spent, to lives being spent out in loving service to one another. And that is something to take heart in, to uh, be heartened by, to be encouraged by. So as you think about uh, the weeks to come and as you give thanks for uh, the neighbors that have come and help and as you think about the prayers uh, that you will offer uh, seeking you know, whatever help for the roof, the house, uh, the neighborhood. Think about also this, that we've perhaps uh, been a, a witness to something amazing of God's spirit working in our midst, freeing us to spend our lives in loving service for one another. That's light for today. God's grace and peace be with you. Amen.